Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Pisces, for August today. All right, darling, so if you enjoy this tarot reading, let me know in the comments below, Pisces, how my tarot reading helps you out, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Now, Pisces, today in your first row, we're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind. This could be a platonic relationship or a romantic, or it's just the person on your mind, Pisces, okay? And then in your second row, darling, we're going to be talking about what y'all need to hear at this time pisces today it could be a spiritual message that's going to come in or just some guidance some understanding about what's going on all right and then in your third row today pisces we're going to be talking about some predictions that i'm going to be able to make for you should you continue down the path um uh with the energy that this is going with all right should you continue in this direction here so let's get into your weekly tarot reading here today uh pisces and yeah be sure as well darling if you enjoy this tarot reading give this video a like and subscribe it's a completely free way to support me pisces and i really appreciate it for those that take the extra time to do that because i know you don't have to all right Oops, let's put this in here as well. So you have the Magician card coming in here in the back of the deck for you, Pisces. All right. So the Magician energy is a card of where you're starting to take control of your life a lot more. All right. You Pay attention, Pisces, because I feel like if you start paying attention to what it is that you're able to manifest, all right, you're going to be able to start manipulating that to your advantage here. All right. And I'm talking like, I feel like some of you guys, like, for example, you'll start thinking about a person, Pisces, and they'll call or they'll send you a text message shortly after. Or it's like you'll have like gut instincts where it's like, you don't even put much thought into it, I feel, Pisces. You're just like, oh, huh, that's funny that happened there. What a coincidence. And I feel like that's what's really going to be happening a lot for you, Pisces. It's just a lot of coincidences uh, that are going to be happening for you. So let's place this right here with that magician energy. I also want you to take note, Pisces, in that when it comes to that magician energy... All right, you're using all the tools in your toolbox here. I see further elevation. I always like to say as well, when it comes to the magician, I like I never like to project my personal beliefs onto people because it's none of my business what you practice, Pisces. But I always like to suggest to people whether you align with law of attraction or assumption. I think the kids are saying nowadays, and just whatever the, it is for you, Pisces. All right, um, you're able, like you're going to be able to really bring forth things uh from the spiritual side to the physical all right so whether that's rituals what have you you'll be really noticing your gifts there all right so let's take a look at the person that's on your mind right now pisces all right so you have this hierophant energy with the star as well as this three of cups here all right so what i see for you guys right now pisces this is someone that i feel like you see a lot of potential in them all right i feel like it starts out pretty like I feel like you don't want to get your hopes up when it comes to this connection, Pisces. I don't know what this is about, all right? Um, I feel like it could be someone that's a little bit newer in your life, or this could even be someone that you're starting to see signs that you've had in your life for a while now, um, be like, uh, you, uh, where they're showing potential and be like, you know what? It feels like this person potentially seems like they could be a good fit for my life here, all right? And so I think that's what's going to be happening for you here, Pisces. All right. I feel like people are going to be showing you more consistency, giving uh, really reassuring you, uh, Pisces, as well. I feel like as well, for many of you guys, you're going to feel extremely validated. All right. Because I feel like for many of y'all, Pisces, I'm saying I feel like like 30 times. Um, I'm just really feeling it for you, Pisces, I suppose. But I feel with this Three of Cups Hierophant energy, like... Up until this point in time, Pisces, I feel like you're so used to uh, being so out of the box, like people always thinking that you're out of the box when I don't think you even think you're that crazy or out of the box. Like, I feel like you'll say things and other people will just be like, whoa, Pisces, did you mean to sound that dark or morbid? And you're just like, what? I was just making a joke. Right. And I feel like the new people coming into your life here are going to really validate you and make you feel as if you're not crazy. It's going to be like, oh, other people have this sense of humor as well? You're kidding me, right? Star energy. Whenever I see the star energy with social readings, I never like to use the word soulmates and twin flames because those are just such overused, watered down words. But I will say when I see the star energy, I will say like this is probably someone when you connect with them, they'll feel a little bit nostalgic because I feel like spirit put them on your path, right? By definition, the star is a card known to let you know that you're on your correct path here. It's the card of where it's like when you set your intent out into the universe, the wishes, the desires that you've had when it 
comes to your social life and what types of relationships that you want to create or what type of relationships you want to manifest, right? Uh, Pisces, so really fabulous here. Let's see the obstacle with this. What's going to be happening? Like, what can we do, Pisces? Or I suppose, what can you do? Like, what can you do, Pisces, to assist this energy? Let's take a look. I'm using the Necronomicon tarot deck, by the way. Two of Swords coming in here. All right. Being a little bit more trusting, I feel, on some level, Pisces. I feel like for you, your main problem is, is like... Not to say that you're not trusting Pisces, but I feel like you always can tell yourself that you're not ready for something deeper. All right. Like it's like for you, Pisces, it's like you like you always say it's like, oh, I'm not ready for love. I'm not meant for love, whatever. You set up that self-fulfilling prophecy. So any connection that comes forward to you, you won't even see it under the scope of something that could be deeper because you always convince yourself that you like everyone's the same or just the trust issues or whatever. Do you see where I'm going with that, Pisces? Queen of Swords here. I mean, darling, Queen of Swords, the boundaries, darling. All right. You just Pisces, I feel like it want to hurt a little bit to open up some, be, find a way to be vulnerable. You know, I feel like you're the type of person that will allow other people to talk about themselves quite a bit, Pisces. And I feel like you need to open up a little bit because I feel like you unintentionally make yourself unapproachable. All right. And then Ten of Wands. How can people help? Pisces, how can people help? Stop taking the burdens on all on your own here. If you'll notice here, Pisces, as well, with all these cards, none of these cards want, like, you don't want to, you don't like leaning on other people, do you? You don't like feeling vulnerable or quote-unquote weak around other people right you are you maybe perhaps for you pisces you're just so used to being this rock uh for other people that you don't ever give yourself the opportunity for other people to be the rock for you all right so maybe something for you to deep dive with you know personally explore pisces i'm not going to sit on my soap box and preach to y'all about it because i feel like again we're all adults here darling all right so me just pointing it out it'll just give you some time to reflect on it all right pisces so i'll leave you there with that darling and you can unpack that with your therapist tenny <laughs> let's get into pisces what y'all need to hear at this time all right you have this three of pentacles eight of swords here with the queen of cups pisces all right so what you need to hear at this time again self lim girl I took the wrong one self-limiting thoughts pisces all right self-limiting thoughts maybe you tell yourself that you're not ready for love because you're insecure about what you see in the mirror uh, and so you don't ever let open up to other people all right because maybe some of you guys are always thinking that you're a burden or they cannot help you all right i feel like it's like especially with this eight of swords it's really impactful in like the mindset this would be calling you out in because it's like you convince yourself that you already know the potential in other people or you convince yourself that you already know the answer if you were to ask other people or you convince yourself that no one else could do the job that you would be needing help with on the same level that you would want it done at you know it's very convinced in that way because and i bring that up because of this through your pentacles energy pisces all right this is a card of where it's like what you need to know at this time is like um really just working with other people all right trusting their insights trusting their outlook pisces i feel like for you what you need to hear is that there's people around you pisces that could lessen the burdens in your life should but you have to be willing to uh delegate all right there's something that um there i forget who says this but uh, someone that i respect in business said uh apparently not too much if i don't remember their name right now but it's <laughs> or who it came from rather but i know someone that i respected in business says that a good business person knows how to delegate right you know and so it's just like some people are just so convinced you know I'll just use YouTubers for an example, because I think they're a YouTuber. You know, a YouTuber, when they start wanting to do a bunch of high quality videos, you know, 
and also doing social media and all that so you have to eventually delegate and be like all right like one person you know hiring someone to do your social media so you don't have to do it so you can focus on the content creation i know i need that darling right it's a full-time job doing that so that's what makes a good business person is knowing when to ask for help how to ask for the help so people can help you in the way that you need the help in the first place all right eight of swords calling you out once again here get out of your head here pisces all right i know you're just so used to being around a certain type of persons of where you're always having to do the damage control you're always having to be disappointed by people and what have you but i feel like you're not giving chances to people king of swords energy here of other people's head spaces here right with all this air energy i feel like you're not cons like i i don't know pisces i just feel like there's people around you right now that you would really respect their mindset should you open up all right knight of swords continuing on with all this air energy here i feel like for some of you pisces it's not only not only is there people around you currently a bit but i feel like there's going to be more people that come around uh for you pisces and are able to work with you are able to assist you in whatever way that looks like all right because for all of y'all all y'all need help in different ways that's all of us right so i can't say in what specific way that they could help you but it's just like that's just utilize your resources more darling all right be, be don't be afraid of asking for help let's get into your oracle card pisces number nine in numerology darling so write down the number nine look it up later and see what messages that brings for you this week pisces all right um repairing the veil forgiveness Ooh, now pisces i don't feel like this is forgiveness talking about like past energies that what we've been talking about up until this point darling but i feel like it's like forgiveness of people from the past and for learning how to forgive other people of what they did to you in the past and forgiving them the damage that they caused you up until this point all right I feel like for you, Pisces, there'll be like a domino effect of being able to fully come to terms with like perhaps like something that happened in the past, maybe some past pain. You know, I'm not about to sit here and unpack like childhood trauma and give you that speech, Pisces, right? But I feel like for some of you guys here, by exploring what forgiveness looks like, even for yourself, Pisces, let's say that, darling, even for yourself, forgiving yourself and the times that you took a risk when it comes to business and times that you took a risk for any facet in your life and you fell flat on your face, forgiving yourself for that as well, all right? I feel like it's a personal forgiveness. I don't feel like it's forgiving outside people. You don't need to worry about forgiving outside people you're that's who you naturally are pisces you're overly understanding of people like you're the last zodiac sign that needs to be told to forgive somebody in my opinion is a pisces now pisces that doesn't mean a pisces don't hold a grudge honey i mean clearly we're I'm, i've been chastising y'all for the past five minutes about grudges right and look, moving on from past grudges so you can open up to new relationships in your life and open up to new opportunities and what have you but a pisces knows like if if, if one thing a pisces is gonna do it's gonna forgive if it's called if the situation calls for it all right girl what does this say into into me i see into me i see all right i feel like for you pisces this kind of is like more so like a self-explanatory message of just going deep within all right i don't think we need to go deeper into the fancy messages with this here but i feel like for you this is just a time of like for many of you guys shadow work pisces all right shadow work in the regards to your relationships to relationships your relationships to yourself and the relationship that you have for the future that you envision yourself and perhaps for some of you guys the self-deprecating nature that you have for yourself but also for your future as well why not have i feel like for some of you pisces you might not have as much of an optimistic or you might have like that's the word cynical i feel like you might have a little bit of a cynical view about some facet of life i don't know maybe i'm wrong pisces maybe i'm projecting darling but let's get into your moon oracle card before we get into your predictions today pisces okay <clears throat> all right you have the new moon in aries darling go for it all right maybe you came into this reading today pisces and you were just in your head about something be like all right should i consider this should i not what have you i mean new moons talk about new beginnings uh pisces all right i feel like if it, this if there's something if there's like a flame that's stirring with you within you about this go for it you're getting you're getting spirits blessing in this way essentially here all right so 
can't really go, you know, it's like that sense of just going deep within, forgiving yourself, but going by going deep within, forgiving yourself, that gives you the freedom, uh, Pisces, to go forward with new things and be willing to take risks because you're no longer holding on to things from the past because you've forgiven the past to be able to go forward. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's get into your predictions today, darling. All right. You have this two of cups, eight of pentacles and queen of wands here for you. All right. Straight off the bat to darling Pisces, as I've been saying for the majority of y'all's reading, it's unintentionally turned into some type of social reading. I see connections for you guys. I see partnerships, whatever way that looks like, romantic, platonic, business associated. I see especially business associated eight of pentacles there. I see certain relationships in your life further developing as well. All right. I see further relationships further developing. And then with this queen of wands here. All right. This is really complimentary energy with this magician energy. All right, Pisces, because I see for you guys, y'all are taking more risk. Y'all are leaving the nest more. Y'all are starting to experiment, Pisces, with things that you haven't normally done. You're breaking your normal routines to experiment with new things, to experiment with people, perhaps. All right. Some of you guys are learning how to delegate, Pisces. All right. And I see that's where y'all are really, that's where the creation process really happens here. All right. Getting out of your comfort zone, breaking out of the norm from what you usually do, Pisces. All right, darling. So that's the tarot reading that I have for you today, Pisces. Hopefully this reading was helpful in some way. Be sure to comment down below if it was. Give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to book a private reading with me, simply welcome dot com pisces to get the details for that it's next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all of them just being simply velka all right same as here but i love you so much pisces and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling